Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. We're back. Cal Solomon, uh, uh, formerly Californication Solomon, but the genie. Uh, and this was my question earlier. He doesn't, does he physically have to like fly around the earth like Superman did to turn back time? And that I don't know. Okay. I mean, yeah. he's a genie. He is a genie. I assumed it was all magic. I don't, I didn't, I never imagined there was physical exertion. I think it might be. Otherwise they would just be giving wishes out to anyone who wanted one. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I wonder if he did it. Cause uh, apparently, uh, that was, uh, uh, we time traveled that change. It never happened. Yeah, and technically you shouldn't be remembering it. I'm going to have a word with that genie. <laughs> Some sloppy work by that genie. You shouldn't be reinforcing it by bringing Make it Make sure it's again. not a wish, though. It's not a wish. Oh, I long for you to stop talking about it. <laughs> uh, we have to get to our next guest. Um, right. This is a concerned citizen, and this is, uh, uh, I wonder, I mean, there's a lot to be concerned about these days. Sure. Uh, you know what I mean? What are some of your concerns, Cal? Oh, the Russians, of course. Sure. They yeah. never fought for my thoughts. <laughs> of course. Well, I mean, they made a f complete fool out of you. Okay. <laughs> the two in particular. Did yeah. they ever contact you ever after that and say, hey, Cal, we're totally sorry about all that? Well, they never said sorry, but they would send taunting videos to me. Taunting videos? Yeah. Like I, what? I don't even have a computer. <laughs> oh, so they, were these camcorder videos or these were? Well, they knew that I had a t the little guy is a TV VCR. <laughs> oh, okay. So they would send uh, videotapes they to you? They would send VHS cassette tapes and it would be them uh, doing great raps. What? About how great their life is in Russia. No. I'm, yeah. I mean, I can understand maybe they think like, oh, this guy's interested in rap. will kind of like do something you nice think for him. they mean him. it nice? They could mean it nice. Yeah, it sounds like a nice thing. I mean, if someone were to send me a funny video of them rapping something, I would laugh. Like if one was titled Cal Solomon is a Fool, what would you think? Oh, then I would think that they're definitely Like that's you. on the spine of the, oh, of the no, tape. Oh, no, really? Why did they put that one in? Do they do like artwork on it too? And like a cool, a cool like handwritten Sometimes. font? I think the husband does the artwork. Oh, really? Yeah. When the wife does it, it's just like plainly written out. <laughs> but the husband like- She put, was all business. Put some doodles. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. too, they were nice neighbors, too. It's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad what they did to you. But um, this is a nice person, and we'll find <laughs> out what they're concerned about. Uh, please welcome to the show, Peanut Parton. Hello, I'm Peanut Parton, and I can't stop farting. <laughs> oh, gee. And you're rapping. <laughs> Are you taunting him? No, it's not funny, and I'm not taunting anybody. I'm not even taunting myself. Oh, is this a real thing? Yes, I can't stop farting, and I can't also can't stop getting migraines, doing little heart attacks, falling down, <laughs> having bad balance, pissing myself, throwing up. I'm in bad shape, Scott. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. So you're, uh, I, I'm guessing from your physical appearance and your- I'm from Tennessee, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> but wow, you're also, good eye. You're also an, uh, an older uh, person? Is I'm that... a little bit older, yes, but uh, age ain't nothing but a number, baby. <laughs> yeah, but what is the number? And uh, what? Uh, it's pretty up there, right? Well, no, it's only 82 because, well- are you familiar with the Parton Scientific Trials of 1946? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I haven't been reading the medical journals at all. That's where, it? how come I'm born and why I'm here? <laughs> and why everything is hurting, Scott. <laughs> okay, so you were, uh, you were six years old at the time, if I'm doing my math correctly. Well. <laughs> <laughs> if you're 82. No, because I wasn't the first one that was born. Oh, this so you makes sense have been six now. Years old. That's right. Oh, yes. Right. So, because are you familiar with Dolly Parton? Uh, yes, she's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right there next to uh, whoever we were talking the about Red before. Hot Chili Peppers? <laughs> well, she will be. <laughs> well, good for her. I hope they don't, hope they don't uh, get them confused at the museum. <laughs> well, the other ones, you know, not so lucky. Because, you know, before Dolly, you knew how she would, because she was made from the scientists. What? She oh, wait, Hold on. Back up, back up a little bit, because I haven't heard this story. Dolly Parton, yes. American treasure. Yes. Uh, writer of uh, both Jolene and I uh, Will Always Love You on the same ass day. Uh, she wrote both of those songs. It wasn't a nice day. It was a Thursday. <laughs> oh, okay. Really, a Thursday for all that to happen to her. Her husband leaves her. And well, she's the perfect woman, Scott, isn't she? You've seen her before. Blonde, a big bosom, little waist, big bum, right? Right, yeah, little in so the middle. So she was made by the scientist. Really? So this yes, is like a weird Scott. A weird you science You think a woman situation? like that could be born of a natural birth? No. <laughs> I guess, I mean, she is uh, gorgeous, right, Cal? I mean, I you, think she's a beautiful lady. Yeah, so you have heard of her. You haven't heard of a lot of things I've heard Dolly, of Dolly Parton. Parton sure. Which, which song is your favorite? Mm, the one about uh, the Have You Got Some Gingerbread? Uh, have you ain't got you candy? got no gingerbread? Ain't, ain't you got, got no candy? candy? Ain't, ain't you got, got an no extra bed, bed for me and little Andy? Andy. 
So does that uh, appeal to you because of the Sugar Hill Gang type stuff? You're interested in things about sugar. I never made that connection. <laughs> <laughs> That's two things. <laughs> <laughs> so but, but uh, before there was Dolly, well, obviously they tried a few others, didn't they, Scott? Okay. <laughs> so you, if I'm if I'm hearing you correctly, and I want to not only hear but listen. Uh, you are saying that Dolly Parton was born out of scientific experiments in the 40s? Yes, the scientists, they were all men, and they wanted to have a, the most beautiful woman they could show ingredients of all her characteristics. Where did they get, like a Frankenstein's monster, but where did they get all of these characteristics? How do you grow these in a lab? Where, I don't know, Scott. Petri dish? Petri dish. Oh, so it's, oh, got it. Grow it under a light bulb, hot one. <laughs> okay. And then all the different kinds of girls were born, but it took them a few to get Dolly right didn't they? Oh. And so, oh, now nobody gives a hell shit about peanut parton and no one taking care of me. So you are kind of like Dolly Parton's sister. Is no, that what you're saying? Like, we call ourselves the previous Partons. Oh, so you're you're uh, Mach 1 or... or uh, no, I'm number 6 or 7. One. She oh. wasn't the first one born, remember? No, I wasn't. First one was gunk. That one didn't <laughs> live very long. That gunk was mostly blood. and but we <laughs> But we remember gunk because of the... Because she was the first. <laughs> oh, okay. So Gunk was the first. Yes. Then there were two through five. Yes. Then there was Dorlene Parton. Dorlene. Who was really Dorlene. close, Dorlene. but she didn't have Dorlene. the dimples, Dorlene. so they shot her in the head. They sh oh. oh, God. She didn't just, have the dimples. Just God, because of the dimples? Do with her? How did they know that they even wanted dimples? I mean, until you see Dolly with the dimples, well, you don't know you want them. Well, perfect woman. That was part of the ingredients. Oh, dimples are part of perfection. Yes. So she didn't have dimples, and so they execution style mm -hmm. just... Yes, when Darlene came out, they said voice of an angel, big breast, little waist, all that stuff. But when the dimples weren't there, they did. They put a cold uh, end of a revolver to her forehead. The business end. <laughs> and they and they executed her in front of everyone. Well, I wasn't born yet for right. the petri dish. Well, I, 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 I guess I don't mean it. everyone who's ever lived. I just mean in front of everyone who was there in the room. <laughs> yes, and then you know, then I that's wasn't right. there. <laughs> sure. Were you born yet? No, you were. You're. You, uh, how old are you again? Oh, I'd rather not say. It would make it easier for some of my opposite numbers in Russia to track me down. <laughs> it seems like they know where you are. They're sending you these well, videotapes. Well, those two, sure. <laughs> you, you don't think they've told their friends? No, I think they're honorable in certain ways. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was what, sort of what the show was about. Um, so so then two through five, uh, uh, two had the, what was two's name again? Dorlene. Dorlene. It was Dorlene. Gunk and then Dorlene. Gunk and Dorlene. It was a big jump between the first and the second. <laughs> right, first yeah. one really bad. Mostly blood. First one was just blood. Yep. Second one, perfect, oh, perfect. other than the dimples. So trash. Okay. So then, and then what was three and four and five like? Three was Heidi Klum. Oh, <laughs> oh well, yeah. She's out there in the world now. She likes Halloween costumes too much. That yeah. was her fault. Yep. And then I think number four was Macaulay Culkin. Oh, wow. Um, he was too short, of course, and the bosoms weren't big enough. Sure, but he had those cheeks, though. And then by then, they weren't doing executions anymore either because oh, by actually, the, by funny then. enough, the CIA had started watching, keeping uh -oh. an eye on the dumpster oh. and saying, well, where did this one come from? That's not right. So just looking at the dumpster. Yeah, because that's where Dorlene went. And when they noticed Dorlene show up in there, they said, this girl's nearly perfect except for no dimples, so trash. But then three and four didn't end up at the dumpster right, cause because we know who they are, Heidi Klum and Macaulay That's Culker. right, and because the CIA was sitting out by the dumpster making sure nobody was getting thrown in there so the scientists didn't do executions anymore. God, so they I let would, them go off and be models and actors. If I work for the CIA, that would be the worst job, to have to watch a dumpster, dumpster all day. Watch. Although oh. not as bad as what you did. I mean... <laughs> I mean, letting two Russian spies steal all of those secrets and wear all of those wigs. How many wigs did they have? I, I lost count after like 200. <laughs> she said, wow. So like an entire wing of their house just devoted to wigs? I don't, I don't really want it to say Okay, this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cal. I'm sorry to bring this up. So so two uh, was, of course, Dorlene. Then we have Heidi Klum. Then Macaulay Culkin. Who was number five? Well, you're looking at her. Oh, you were fine. Peanut Parton. Peanut Parton. And this is where they went went sideways, right? right? Because they had made Macaulay, and they said he don't have the hourglass figure. And as you <laughs> noticed, you've looked at a peanut before, correct? Uh, Cal, have you looked at a peanut? I've seen uh, tons of peanuts. Still in the sh still in the shed. What does it remind you of? Uh, uh, still in the shell. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Mr. Peanut. No, it reminds you of a beautiful woman's body. Oh, right. You've got the little figure. the titties on top, the waist, the buttocks, <laughs> and all of the like indentations, sort and of like so pockmarks. And so they thought, for they were trying to make their perfect dolly, and so they 
they bred me in the petri dish with most of the peanuts for the shape. No, so they they crossbred your yes. DNA with peanuts. Yes. Oh. And that's why. How come now? I'm severely allergic to peanuts, and my skin is so <laughs> crunchy. We're all allergic to the things that we are. That's right. <laughs> That's why you must never eat human flesh. <laughs> that's right. And you plus become I'm a Wendigo. Little too. <laughs> I'm little too, so that's why they would be calling me Peanut Parton. And I was a, f- you know, all the scientists, they were a fan of me. I say, oh, there's Peanut. She's a little cute. So you still keep up with the scientists? Oh, you still uh, see Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, no. So you're on a first name basis. Ryan, <laughs> Kyle. They, and they Megan. must, you're 80 something, uh-huh. supposedly. Actually, you're more like 70 something. Uh-huh. And they must, they must have been at least 20, 25 years. I mean, I can't even imagine being a 20 year old scientist and working on this. So they're, I mean, they're in their hundreds now. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But they all, did they take some sort of like anti aging serum or something Thank like you. that? You don't even want to know the stuff they were cooking up in that Petri dish. Impossible mm. combinations. But they're still around. They're front row at all of Macaulay's movies and Heidi's shows. Front row. And that's a course, bad. That's a bad row when you're in the movie theater. <laughs> can I ask it? Can you I get there a little earlier? Well, it depends on the theater, right? <laughs> well, sure, but uh, well, yeah, I wouldn't want to buy one of those theaters. <laughs> Premier theaters, that's big, right? What? <laughs> Let me ask you: What Macaulay Culkin and Heidi Klum was that always their names, or did they have names before that? Well, before that, they were Heidi Klum Parton, Macaulay Culkin Parton, because <laughs> oh, they name us all. We all right. we're part of the Parton experience. Right. Oh, okay. So right. So <laughs> the previous Parton experience. Previous Partons. And was Dolly s- next or Dolly was number eighty two. He took them forever to get. Wow. So what? what is the difference? I mean, obviously your voice is terrible. <laughs> uh, but my singing voice really good. <laughs> oh, re- oh, let's yeah, hear that's it. something they nailed on me. Let's hear it. I mean, oh, you, you do you sound just like Dolly Parton? Dolene, 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 Dolene. It's really good. Were you singing Dolene? Well, so that's my problem. I got the voice, but I couldn't get the lyrics. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they nailed the voice, but lyrically. That's, lyrically, I cannot understand a single lyric. I can't memorize them, don't know what the words mean. As soon as it's in melodic form, I don't understand the language. <laughs> what about Tiny Dancer? What, what, Tiny when I s- Dancer doing a dire stare. So you don't hear Tony Danza? No, I don't hear anything <laughs> in that one. So then, wow, so you were pretty early. Um, and, and physically, I mean, it's weird that they were able to nail it other than the dimples for number two, and then they got it so far <laughs> off with you. <laughs> Far off with Macaulay, too, let's be honest. Well, true. <laughs> but he got the blonde hair. I got the blonde hair, but I only got four or five strands of it. Yeah. I got the dimples, but they're too deep. They yeah. hurt. <laughs> they're like they're like someone took a, a knife to your cheeks. Yeah, they're like other little mouths. It's, it's like someone like did, did a joker on you or something exactly like that. Exactly right. Yeah. Why so serious, people are saying to me. <laughs> and I don't get it. You, know, you don't get anytime someone sees you, they say, Why so serious? Yes. Like you're doing a fun Joker costume. <laughs> that's right. They just think, Oh, that's been a part, and she's a little clown. She's going to cheer <laughs> us up. Wow. <laughs> So what have you been doing this whole time? I mean, when did they let you out of the, the I, I'm assuming this is a secret lab out there? Uh, yes, in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Yes. And, you know, they let me out, yeah, because, you know, the CIA was on dumpster watch, so they couldn't yeah. fold me up and put me in there. Right. And I was a fan among, you know, Dr. Ryan, Dr. Kyle. They all thought I was a good time, you know. And, and so they let me out, and I've been having a pretty normal life, except for now I can't stop farting and pissing myself, and my, all my organs are failing because they didn't do a good job. Wait, well, did, did this just start happening, or has it been happening since you were created? Well, so it's th- just recently. The thing they forgot to I give me. I guess that's what I was asking. Yeah, or it's since you were worse created lately. Because <laughs> you see, they forgot to give me on a bum hole. Uh, wait, they forgot to to give you they an, forgot to an give entire me on a bum hole. They forgot to give you one. Yes, and so would you like me to tear you a new one? Oh. <laughs> Scott, uh, <laughs> I, I would like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know how to answer because, right. because I have been eating regular cereal, stuff like that. Sure. But it's not going anywhere. It's and all I, just collecting. It's filling me up and I'm full. And that's wow. hurting. And so now, you know, I'm reaching a stage in my life. I'm, that's why I wanted to come on the show, Scott. Oh, Ask good. anybody out there if they got my same blood type, which is peanut butter and blood. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See mm. if I can get a butthole. Like uh, a, tra- a transplant? Sure. Or? Um, uh, I, need I don't know stomach, if anyone's going to want to give theirs eyeballs, away. I need eyeballs. I need tongue. I need everything. Are you sure you're not just getting older? I mean, when people are, you know, however, you know, I mean, however old you are, it seems more like 76. But, uh, you know, I mean, like... 
our organs start failing. Oh, okay. I'm sure it's normal like that, Scott. Were you raised in a warm Petri dish? No, you're right. You're right. I don't know. I, I, She's I, got you there, Scott. Yeah. Your privilege is showing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, so if anyone out there, I don't think anyone's going to have your particular blood type, though. Well, why, I mean, how come? Cal, you eat peanut butter, don't you? I mean, sometimes with raisins. You put raisins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so? But I don't... <laughs> Although peanut butter and raisins might be good. It's not bad. I mean, with bananas, it's yeah, good. Sure. Um, I don't know if I eat enough peanut butter to meet your needs, but does it need to be a transplant? Can't they just drill one in there? Yeah. Only the butthole's the only thing you can drill into someone that they don't know they have. How are you right. going to drill into someone a what? A stomach? A larynx? These are all things I need, right. brothers. Couldn't they do some sort of like Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner thing where they draw one on you and it just, <laughs> then it works? Ha, 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 <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure she's heard that before. <laughs> Pardon me. I'm coming Peanut on pardon. the show to talk pardon about a series. Pardon you. Pardon the interruption. You should have a show. Okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, well, this all right. going to be mine last, now. Last... My first guest is an ignorant man who only watches Looney Tunes. <laughs> hey, everyone. I think that's you. <laughs> she was taking a dig. Damn. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think that you're able to transplant an entire whole. I mean, it's the absence of something. That's the issue. Um, <laughs> what, what? I mean, it's a little more than that. <laughs> it's a little more involved. <laughs> But do you have anything inside you? Any guts? I got a lot of guts, yeah. <laughs> Too many. And, I, and they're all twisted around each other. Oh, yeah. sorry. And my stomach is wrapped around inside on my larynx. Oh, no. And, and my titties are, uh, are, are on my butt cheeks. My teeth are in my dimples. Oh, God. It's wow. been a nightmare. And it didn't work out, but you Although, know, I see Dolly Parton on stage just hooping it up. Yeah, and she's I, got it all. I'm sick to my stomach because, you know, she wouldn't acknowledge the previous Partons. She and wouldn't. you ask her about it, she'll say, oh, no, I'm just a regular girl, not made in a lab. Not even in, like, liner notes on any of her albums. She's like, oh, by the way, the 80, you know, one previous Partons. I want to give a shout out to them or anything like that. Nothing? She, no, You know, she doesn't, but actually the song 9 to 5 was written about uh, really stumble out, out of bed. Out of bed come into the kitchen. Definitely lost it. Yeah, those lyrics have just slipped away. I know that feeling. So that, but the voice is gorgeous. We can't yeah. deny that. No, we can't <laughs> deny that. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, titties on an ass would be not bad if you're uh, hitting it from the back. It's kind of like you're getting the best of both worlds. Scott, my whole body is in pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would take that into account, but... <laughs> you know, you need to go to Tennessee and get yourself a job in a secret dumpster lab, and you can cook up whatever kind of woman you want. <laughs> It sounds like but, not a bad but idea. But Scott, promise me this. Yeah. You will reckon with the previous versions. Okay. The ones that don't go away to have big Home Alone franchises and German fashion modeling shows. It seems like, I mean, okay, number one was just blood, so uh, uh, no life to that. Gunk. Gunk. She yeah. had a name. Gunk, I, I beg your pardon. And then, of course, Dorlene. Yes. Uh, shot execution style. <laughs> <laughs> no dimples. <laughs> <laughs> no dimples. And then every other one is still alive, still with us? Mostly every other one. There could be one sitting at this table right now. What? So let me, let me, it's not me. Okay. The Shaggy Defense. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you ever see Scooby-Doo? Yeah. The dog. And he solves uh, supernatural He crimes. solves supernatural. Well, I mean, they're not, they turn out not to be supernatural as to not scare children. Oh, right. That makes sense. So just scare them for a little bit. It's to excite their imaginations of like, oh, maybe ghosts are yeah. real. And then suddenly it's and like, no, end, it's just a. Then at the end, talk about insurance. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so. I'm trying to understand, and I'm not asking as a CIA guy, just asking as a regular person. I'm trying to understand the, the quality levels. So first, just blood. Then Dorling. Perfect. Looks exact, Dorling looks exactly like Dolly Parton, except no Don't dimples. say perfect, Scott. I already told you about I, the I dimples. beg your pardon. I beg your Although I would have, I would have kept her. Quite honestly. Right. <laughs> then, how well, you, at that time, scientists had a hard time finding perverts like you to take the rejected <laughs> science experiments. I mean, I don't think that I'm perverted when I say that if uh, I saw Dolly Parton walking down the street without the dimples, I would say that's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. But okay. Agree to disagree, Scott. <laughs> All right. Then you got Heidi Especially Klum. if the titties were on the ass. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> then you got Heidi Klum. Too tall. An absolute oh, disaster. But she's she's a pretty lady, right? She's a model, I sure. think. Yeah. Then Macaulay Culkin, he's a little boy. Too short. Little boy with right. red cheeks from slapping him too. Then long. there's like um 
like 70 something more mm-hmm. <laughs> before they got Seems to like they were so party. close on that number two. <laughs> what number were you, dear? Well, they you were don't. Six or seven, they, didn't you say? Yes, but they don't tell you your number because that's where you get your power. Oh, sure. Oh. So that's why how come Dolly wrote nine to five because she was number 95. Oh, even though you said that she was 87, okay, well, six or seven. Interesting. My brain doesn't work that good, Scott. My organs <laughs> remain gotta, in the war yeah. patriot day. I, I got to yeah. give her a break. But, I mean, I, it's making me question everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you've... Uh, That's also a fair point. ...made uh, several Sorry, mistakes. Peanut. <laughs> My memory's not good. I won't deny it. Yeah. And do you think that's because of the lab? They gave you a bad memory? Yes. They didn't want me to remember what Ryan, Kyle, Megan were up to, but I still remember. Megan? Yeah, Megan was one of the scientists. Really? Yeah, girls can be scientists, didn't you know, pervert? <laughs> not back then. I suppose you want to know if her ass was part of her digits as well. <laughs> didn't you ever see Hidden Figures? <laughs> They weren't, they were, that was the, the whole plot of the movie. They I weren't, can't watch a movie, Scott. I'm blind. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Nothing's For, working as it should be. And suppose you didn't notice I don't have ears either. I know you're wearing headphones. Why are you? Why do you have those on? To cover. Well, I got to little, cover the fact that you don't have the, ears. Yes, because you know how birds have little holes on the side of their heads. Yes, that's me too. That's peanut part and right there in a nutshell. <laughs> that no pun intended, of course. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> of course. Would you say that your strongest uh, uh, thing that you got going right now is your voice? I would definitely agree with that. Because I can hear you. I can understand you. Yes. You, you, and my singing voice is gorgeous. Your singing yeah. voice is perfect. I would almost rather you sing everything than hear your talking voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that can be arranged. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but then it, I wouldn't understand you because the lyrics are off. Yeah, And it just comes out like, you know, a little bit. Of, oh, the letter D is the only one I can do. Really? Oh, okay, let's hear it. <laughs> when I'm singing. Do, 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 oh, okay. You're also sort of doing the, the letter E. Um, do you ever, are you in touch with Dolly ever or she just ignores all of you? You think Dolly wants to reckon with me and the previous partners? I huh? sit front row at every single concert and I own my side. Front good in a concert, bad at a movie. Would you agree? <laughs> <laughs> and it's expensive too. Yeah. To get front row. I have Every to time. fundraise all year to get there. And then when I do, I hold up a sign and I say, Dolly, you remember me, don't you? What does the fundraising entail? <laughs> Well, I come on shows like this and I ask for either organs or oh, money because my oh, organs okay. are hurting and I don't have any money. All right. So, I mean, we'll save that for plugs, obviously, for the fundraising. But Oh, I'm sorry, Scott. <laughs> we just want to hear your story now. We don't want to get to the business. So you sit there and does she ever see the sign? Does she ever, she you know. She sees it. I see a quiver in her lip and I see her little knees start to knock together and her, she titters on her, on her high heels. Her little ankles almost snap and I can see her breasts swelling and her hair gets all sweaty. And as she starts, she's going to be scratching at her eyes and I can tell it's making her uncomfortable. Really? But oh. she never, she never points at you. She never acknowledges you. Why anything would like she, that. Scott? Well, she then why are to- you doing it if she, if there's no chance of her ever acknowledging you? Because I got to do some sort of peanut dream. Yeah, that's we true. We all do. We all have our peanut dreams, we don't we? We all got to do some sort of peanut dream. Mine is rap. Maybe, you know, Cal, first of all, I'm wondering why you've never wished to be an actual member of the Sugar Hill Gang <laughs> yeah, retroactively. It feels like cheating. Feels like cheating. Okay, well, all wishes are sort of like cheating, but. Yeah, but some things are more, you know, some things are, who cares? I guess, yeah. But I'm wondering if you could use one of your wishes for peanut pardon here. Wow. To, you know, I mean, she's got her peanut <laughs> dreams. And you've got two wishes. It's true. I mean. Okay, Peanut, just so there's no confusion, tell me what you long for. Oh, what don't I long for? I long for a stomach mm, that could digest food. I long for a butthole that could poop it out. I long for a, ba- a brain that had memory, a tongue that had taste, ears that had earring, and a heart that could feel. How about top two? <laughs> A color TV. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that should be easy for a genie. Yeah, I think so. Anything else? Mm. Can you do that? Can you fold two wishes into one wish and go like, oh, uh, I wish for a color TV and a th- something. As long as there's no period. I think so. You I mean. Just keep adding commas no, and be like, I'm can't. not That's done. That's not fair. That's abusing the system. I'm not finished, genie. That's a, I would never speak to the genie that way. Really? Is the genie nice? The genie's very nice. We have a cordial relationship. <laughs> Even though you're keeping him in the, in the bottle still. No, I freed him from the bottle. You freed him from the bottle, yeah. so he's just hanging out? He is hanging out waiting for me to wish live? two more things. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think he lives in a cloud? <laughs> Maybe the cloud. 
Well, with all our data <laughs> yeah. and pictures and stuff? Yeah. Oh, you're- That's why I won't get a computer. <laughs> you don't have any nudes that you've taken? Uh, come, Scott, <laughs> look, we're friends, but that I don't answer. That's too far? That's too far But you do. Me. I'm not going to answer that. But you do have some I'm nudes. I'm not going to answer <laughs> that. All right. I'm sorry, Cal. Okay, Peanut. So Color TV. and then That's we'll- it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. Hmm. All okay. right. So then I still have a wish left for myself. That would be great. Yeah. Um. Would you mind if I took the initiative to wish something else for you? Oh, I would love that. No one's ever wished anything for me before. Okay. So, all right. I got to summon the genie. <laughs> how, do, how do you do that? Yeah. How did, does he say, like, hey, if you ever need me, if you're ever going to wish for something, here's how you get a hold of me? Yeah. Oh, no. The way to summon him is I have to make a rhyme in rap form. Oh. Wait, so any rhyme? I just have to complete a good rhyme. Well, it's weird because I feel like you did a couple earlier. <laughs> Would, did he come by? No, or? it has to be about him. Oh, about him. Oh, That's a, ge- a genie-themed rap. Yeah, oh, okay. a genie-themed rap. Okay, well, let's do it. Uh, uh, do you want me to lay down uh, another beat here? Or? <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Okay, here and we do go. Do you mind if I help as well? Yeah, I wouldn't mind Okay, um, I have a gift of rhythm. You'll do the hook. You do the hook. <laughs> you sure. have a gift of what? Rhythm. Rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> you do like the Faith Evans, you know, of oh, the notorious okay. B.I.G. Yeah, exactly. Every here we death go. Day. <laughs> I'll jump in when it's time. All right, here we go. <laughs> Have you ever had a genie as a friend and he gives you a couple wish? Oh, no, I guess No, really, already. He gives you a couple, couple wish. wish. Yeah, <laughs> not good. Not good. Do they have to be Do grammatically it. correct? Yeah, I mean, a good rhyme. <laughs> right, a good you, rhyme. You could rhyme anything if it didn't make sense grammatically. So objectively good. Objectively good. Okay. Well, even if you don't like it, you say, but it's a good rhyme. Right, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, all okay. right, here we go. Let's try sorry one more. Sorry, 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 gang. <laughs> no worries. All right. And your your additions were, by the way, fart noises? That, Is that what you're it's doing? It's not a fart noise, it's a fart. It's a literal fart. Okay, got it. Here and go. because I don't have a bum hole, like him, and yeah, it's coming out of my mouth. Off? Oh. And, and I can do three at once because I got the dimples as well. Okay, great. <laughs> Deep dimples. <laughs> go ahead. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hey, Jeannie, it's me, your friend Cal. I'm just calling. What you doing, pal? Uh, I'm hanging out at Scott's new show. And um, okay. No, hot Scott's new day. show. Yeah, yeah, it's not a new not, show. No, it's not new. I mean, new compared to the history of the world. I don't think the Jeannie's going to yeah, give me that. Yeah. All right, this is this time for real. It's here really going to happen. Okay. Here we are. All right, here we go. It's starting to hurt me a little bit to do the toots, no, but I'll sorry. keep going. Okay, okay, keep going with it. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, Jeannie, can you hear my voice? Could you come and see me? That would be noise. I got a wish that I'd like to make. Not just for me, but someone that you'd find in a cake. Her name is Peanut. You find a peanut in a cake. <laughs> I mean... I think it worked. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hi, Jeannie. Hey, Cal, what's going on? It's good to see you. Hey, my man, what's going on, Cal? Thank, thank you for enjoying I my heard rhyme. you summoned me. Yeah, yeah I, I did enjoy it. It was objectively good. Thank you find you. a peanut in a cake? Sometimes you find a peanut in a cake. No, 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 I'm asking. You find a peanut in a cake? No, not really. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just for dramatic purposes. All right, great. But listen, uh, Jeannie. What's up? I, I think I'm ready to do my last two wishes. Your last two wishes? Yeah. Oh, this is big. This yeah, is big, yeah. Cal. You only got two left. I know, I know. And I'm not going to ask for more wishes. All right, good. Yeah. Yeah, I would have I w- I given you. it to you. You would have? Yeah. Oh, uh, well. But I, you're not going to do it? No, it doesn't seem right. All right. What do you want? How do you feel about it? I feel fine. Doesn't matter to me. You don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. But then I have to keep asking you to grant the wishes. I love you. I don't care. I'd Aww, like to spend I love time you with too, you. too, Jeannie. Yeah, but you only. But you're not going to do it. You said no. It doesn't. And t- a man's word is his freaking bond. It's so true, Jeannie. Yeah. What do you okay, want? Okay. This is my friend Peanut Potton. Is it okay hey, if I call you my friend? Peanut. Hello. Of course, I'm everybody's friend. You're not. No, gonna, are you really? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to imprison me in a bottle, are you? No, of course not. But uh, Jeannie, do you know Dolly Parton? Uh, yeah, she she had three wishes once. She did? Yeah. What did she wish for? She wished for Dollywood. <laughs> and boy, I did a good job on that one, I gotta Pretty say. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, she wished to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then she came out and she was like, pretending like she didn't want it, 
but that was just because she didn't want anyone to know it was a wish. <laughs> and uh, she also wished for uh, 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 to uh, uh, for a, a leftover sandwich that someone had left in the refrigerator. She was like, I hope no one sees, I wish no one sees me when I take this leftover sandwich. You know, that makes me sick because she wished for Dollywood so she could have the play. You know, she's got, there's a big cemetery in Dollywood, and that's where all the previous parts are. Cemetery buried. in Dollywood? Oh, really? Yes. No. And they're unmarked graves. Really? How, how many it? of the previous pawns died? Many of them. I said. I said it already. I'm well, sorry. I said most of them were still alive. Actually, like that. I was some con- of them are still alive. I was confused, Peter. I'm sorry. I don't want this to wreck our friendship. That's fine. I'm everybody's friend. Hey, am I still needed here? <laughs> yeah, Jeannie. Sorry. Why do I sound like I'm on a phone? I I don't know. But I I mean, get, you're magic. You can do whatever you want. I'm sort of like I'm in the cloud. Is like, what I'm trying to convey here. The cloud? Yeah, the cloud. With all your data, with all your nudes, Cal. Come on, Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got two wishes. Yeah, what's up? Now, these are wishes for my friend Peanut. Two wishes for another person? You're a better man than I. Oh, uh, come I'm on. I'm not a man, though. I'm a genie. That's uh-huh. true. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> all right, first, a color TV. One color TV? Yeah. Okay, any specificity on the size or anything like that? Just something pretty bright because my eyeballs are getting dim. Okay, well, you can adjust the settings on normal TVs. They can be, there's a whole brightness like thing on there. You press buttons okay, and stuff like that. Okay, but my wish is for you to do it. Well, well you don't have wishes, you don't have baby. Wishes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jeannie. She's new to the whole She's thing. She's new to the whole thing. I, I, I'll give you a little leeway on this. Now, I'll tell you this. The genie does not do ironic wishes, but he does require specificity. Yeah, and so, also I don't I don't uh, uh, invent things that don't exist already, yeah. all right? So, like, you're going to get a normal TV. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but it has a brightness button on it, and that'll be good enough for you, all right, Toots? Is that good, Peter? Okay, yeah, that's pretty all good. Right. Because, right. you know, I never had parents to give me Christmas gifts, so this will be the first kind of gift that oh, Peanuts no. get. That's so sad. Yeah, uh, Sounds like a real hard candy Christmas. And I'll even do, I know you you were trying to wish for something even though you don't have wishes or me to set it up for you and stuff, like I'm part of the freaking geek squad or something, but uh, I'll, I'll turn the brightness way up on it. Thanks, Jeannie. All Thank right. you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Give her a break. She's, I'll give her a break. She's, she's fine. in a lab. Where am I going to get this TV? All right. From Eyes Electronics, the dry market, okay. maybe? Uh, that's the Jeannie. I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> my bus is coming. This is going to cost me my bus is 1300 coming. bucks. Two and a half hours. All right. Well, I'll get it. I'll get one for you. All, All right. right. And then the What do you want delivered? This is my fa- Oh, so I didn't realize it was more logistics. Wait, yeah, what do you want delivered? Oh, the, the television? <laughs> what are we freaking talking about here, baby? Uh, uh, well, I guess you could have it delivered to the dumpster out back of the science laboratory in Tennessee. Done and done. Where the CIA guys are? That's right. Okay, yeah. The one with the binoculars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dumpster with the binoculars. Got it. <laughs> All right. This is my final wish, Jeannie. Oh, my God. And this wish I picked out specially for you, Peanut. <laughs> It's a touching freaking moment here. You guys are gazing more, deep into each other's more eyes. touching than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Peanut looked at me with a soulful marble eyes. Yeah. No one's ever had to wish for me before except for, oh, Peanut, I wish you'd get lost because you didn't Aww. work out and you're not Dolly Parton. <laughs> Those freaking deep dimples there. These guys sounded so rude. I really wish we could have found stuff in that dumpster and closed them down. Guys, let's hurry this up. Okay. I, I haven't been talking a lot. Sorry. But let's start. <laughs> we have to go to a break. Okay, could, sorry. So. I thought you'd be impressed with a genie here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there a lot of shit's happened <laughs> over the years. I guess that's you know, true. Little uh, uh, people living in the walls and shit. So, oh, yeah. really? A little genie isn't good enough for you? Okay, so, genie, don't don't do, don't be too hard on him. He's, he has seen a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've seen his nudes too. For freaking weirdo. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. This is my wish for you, Peanut. And I know you. Yeah, I know you're in a bad way, and you could really use a break. But, I, you know, I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but I do think this will be good for you. Jeannie, my wish is that Peanut be able to use an additional consonant when she sings. Wow! Um, Hopefully that gets you closer to the whole alphabet. Oh, my goodness. Can I pick? Oh, Can I pick the consonant? Oh, uh, hold on a second. I got to confer with my client. <laughs> Pina, what do you think? Any preference? Uh, hey, I think dealer's choice. I'm just happy to be here. Oh, boy. Well, Jeannie, it's it's your decision. I'm going to pick... Uh, 
and, and Jeannie. Yeah. You're a nice guy, right? I'm a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Don Rickles used to sing. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Cal. I, I hope we can still hang out. Although, to be honest, there's not uh, really any reason for us to. It's like we're two people who used to go, go to college together, and then we get out of college, and anytime we see each other, we just talk about our college friends. Yeah, that's too bad. You're my best friend. You're my best friend too. I love you. But I'm never going to see you again after this. All right, here we go. So, Jeannie, I, just so you know, I can already say D's. D's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give you a W. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try it. I feel I feel a song burning up within me. Doing, 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 doing. That sounds really good. It sounds very close it's to closer. Dorlene. Do, can, do, 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 Hey, I've done my job at Genie. Out. Bye, Genie. I'm going to miss you. Bye, Genie. Wow. Well, Peanut, amazing. You can you have another consonant. No, I could probably get on stage and no one would know who's Dolly and who's Peanut. Hey, I mean, your dimples are so deep. And I can still see, not enough hair. I can see your skull. <laughs> you could wear a wig. That's true. Dolly wears a wig after all. She does? What? Uh, but it's part of what that, they made in the Petri dish so the wig actually it grows off her head. Next thing you're going to tell me that she wear, she wears a, a padded bra. No, she doesn't. <laughs> no, she's perfect. That's right. Okay. Look, we got to take a break. Uh, when we come back, this is exciting. Uh, Cal and Pina, can you guys stick around? I have nowhere to go. Okay. Well, New Jersey. When we come back, we have a TV personality, an actual TV star. This is exciting. We don't get most of those uh, uh, these days. You don't get most of those. You don't get most of them. (laughs) We got one. (laughs) Most would be, what, uh, half a million? (laughs) But we got one. So very far off I guess it's the definition of what a TV personality is. (laughs) Yeah, I get Maybe there are probably millions of TV personalities. Mark DiCarlo from Studs? (laughs) Sure, why not? (laughs) Where's he these days? Uh, All right, we're going to be right back with more company. Baby, 